Je ne veux pas travailler, je ne veux pas déjeuner, je veux seulement oublier. Et puis je Bonsoir. Je m'appelle Jérôme Guillaume. Je suis le leader du truck program ici à Tesla. Et c'est mon grand plaisir de vous accueillir ici à Los Angeles. All of you, all of you have played a very important role in making this event possible and ensuring the success of Tesla. Many of you here have given lots of referrals for the sales. Thank you very much. Many of you over there have helped us on the Trek program, have given us feedback, have given us uh, a lot of advice, and have placed a lot of reservations for the Trek. So thank you very much for your support. And finally, I want to thank all of our employees here in Los Angeles, in the Bay Area, and at the Giga Factory for all their hard work, for something. We make a lot of sacrifices, but I think you will agree with me that it's worth it when you see those beautiful products. I'm personally, personally very passionate about trucks. I've been lucky to work in that industry for a long time, and I'm proud to say that we have the best trucks ever. Are you ready to see them? Bring them on! I'm gonna get the trucks a moment. Get the trucks a moment. All right. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the to the welcome to the Tesla semi truck event. I hope you like what you see. I'm gonna tell you about everything that this this truck can do. Um, it, it blows my mind. I think it'll blow yours. Starting with performance. So we have a, an acronym we came up with um, that uh, I think really, really describes the performance well. So it's a technical term, but let's show you what that means in, in acceleration. So one thing we care about Tesla is we really care about performance. We want, we want a, a vehicle that feels incredible, that accelerates like nothing else. Uh, let's show what the, the truck, uh, what, what it's like to be in a Tesla truck. This is real time. Okay. okay. So that's, the, the Tesla, the Tesla Semi will go zero to 60 in five seconds. Yeah. So that, that's by itself or with a trailer. Now at 80,000 pounds max gross vehicle weight, that's the most amount of 
weight you can carry on a US highway. This is the real-time acceleration of a Tesla Semi. That, uh, on the left, the thing that looks like it's not moving <laughs> is a diesel truck. Just gonna give it a moment. I'm sorry to bore you. I apologize. It's boring. I know. Eventually it'll get there. All right. Even with 80,000 pounds pulling max gross, getting 60 miles an hour in 20 seconds. That's what it can do. Now, what about up a hill? Okay. The, the best diesel trucks can only do 45 miles an hour up a 5% grade. Tesla Semi can do 65 miles an hour up a 5% grade. Yeah. <laughs> That's 65 miles an hour continuous at max gross. What this means is that if, you've got a, if you're pulling a load over the Rockies or some mountainous terrain up a hill, you, you're earning per mile. You're earning 50% more per mile than you are in a diesel truck. That's a gigantic difference. So, um, now, one of the biggest questions we've been asked about uh, electric trucks is, well, how far can they go? Because, well, let's find out. So, 500 mile range. <laughs> That's... But what does a 500 mile range mean? And by the way, it's 500 miles at maximum weight at highway speed. So you're doing like 60 miles an hour. That's a worst case scenario. But what it means is that, since, because the vast majority of routes, because the vast majority are, are, are under 250 miles, it means that you can go to your destination and back, even if your destination has no charging. You can, you can go there and back, go there and home with, without recharging. So you could, you could deliver a load out from the middle of nowhere and come back. Now, how do we achieve this? One of the th ways we do this is we design the Tesla truck to be like a bullet. So whereas a normal diesel truck is designed more like a barn wall, this is a bullet. You can see this in the drag coefficient. So, the Tesla Semi has a 0.36 drag coefficient. The way well, this is a really good number. <laughs> As a, by way of comparison, a Bugatti Chiron, which is a $2 million supercar, has a 0.38 drag coefficient. So this has got a better drag coefficient than a supercar. And by the way, we, yeah. By the way, you can see that in the design. Um, the, uh, part of the way we achieve that is with the bullet-shaped nose. We also have side flaps that map to the, whatever trail you're pulling, whether it's a new trailer or old tra trailer, the, the side flaps will map to whatever trail you're, you're pulling and close the gap. So uh, this, this makes a huge difference to the drag coefficient. Uh, the, the bottom of the truck is also completely flat, so the air can flow straight through. Uh, these are things that you don't see on any other trucks, and it gives us incredible highway range. It's one of the key factors. We also have uh, four independent uh, motors. On, so there's a, there's a motor on each of the rear wheels and an independent front, sus front suspension, so it's incredibly comfortable to, to drive this truck. Yeah. Wow. And then we, just for, for interest's sake, we created uh, a pickup truck version of the Tesla Semi. It's a pickup truck that can carry a pickup truck. <laughs> so, now,
By the way, this is, you, you can legally drive that. <laughs> I mean, it shouldn't be legal, but. Um, <laughs> um, you will actually be able to legally drive that with a normal driver's license. It's kind of wrong, but I like it. Um, now, what about the driver experience? What does it feel like to drive this truck? It's amazing. <laughs> um, because this truck has no gears, it's, there's no, uh, you're not constantly shifting gears. It has one, one gear, so it's, it's, it's smooth. It's like, driving, it's just like driving a Tesla. It's as though you're driving a Model S or Model X or Model 3. Um, it's just big. It's a, really, it's super easy to drive, and it feels incredibly responsive. It's unlike any truck that you've ever driven. Um, and, and the point of view that you have is also incredible. We, we put the driver in the center. So the driver's actually in, in the center of the truck. You're positioned like you're in a race car. Um, you have complete visibility of the road and all the surroundings. It's a, it's a beautiful, spacious interior. You can stand up inside. It's got redundant screens. Uh, and it's, it, it, it just feels incredible to drive this. It's one of the best feelings. It's, it's, so, it's incomparably better than, than, another, than any other truck on the road. You really have to drive it to understand just how good that feels. I, I can drive this thing, and I have no idea how to drive a semi. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a, few, look, take a few more shots of the interior. Gives you a sense. By the way, we'll say like. <laughs> also, there's a little there's a little trunk in the front. Why not? Let's we'll throw that in there. <laughs> As compared to, uh, I don't want to hurt your eyes, but that's what a diesel truck looks like today. It's a clutter of third-party devices. It's very difficult to use. It requires uh, integration, installation. These things don't talk to each other. It's, it's, a, it's a pain in the neck. Uh, it has significant add-on significant add costs, whereas a, the Tesla Semi, all of this is included. It's included in every, in every truck. Everything just works. The, the moment you get the truck, it's got everything. And it'll, it'll seemingly, it'll seamlessly integrate with, with all the fleet systems, the things that are really important uh, to, to the trucking industry. So what about you know, fueling today, if you're fueling a diesel truck, you've got fumes, spills, toxic environment, prices change all the time. Um, and what a lot of people don't realize is, is it actually t it takes up to 15 minutes or more to actually fill a, a, a truck. You have to sit there for 15 minutes while the, the tank gets filled. As compared to charging a, a, a Tesla truck, you can charge at your origin or destination. So while, while you're unloading your cargo, you can charge. So, so the, 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 reason, the, reason, the reason 400 miles is important is because you, ha you, you have to take a break eventually. So, so if, if, you, if, you drive for, if you drive for five or six hours, which is a, that's about as much as you want to be driving continuously, because you have to stop for a bathroom break, go, get a bite to eat. Um, in fact, you're legally required to stop for 30 minutes. So, but, but you, uh, if, uh, 400 miles is like six, plus, six to seven hours of driving, which means, the, the, what, what this means in practice is that by the time you are, you're done with your break, the, the truck is ready to go. You will not be waiting for your truck to charge. It's a big deal. And because of the Tesla mega chargers that will be installed in worldwide, just like we've got superchargers installed worldwide, if you've seen the supercharger map, it started off with just a few, super, with just a few chargers in California. Now we have uh, superchargers on, uh, throughout the world. And you'll be able to go anywhere uh, in, with a, a Tesla uh, consumer vehicle. The same will be true of the Tesla Semi. You'll be able to travel any, anywhere in the world on the Tesla mega charger network. And, uh, and, and that means we can guarantee the electricity rates because this, these will be solar-powered mega chargers um, that uh, charge to a Tesla power pack. It's 24-7 guaranteed low electricity.
And because these, these, these mega charges are solar powered, your truck is running on sunlight. Okay. What about safety? Now, when I say safety, I'm talking about the, the driver's safety. I'm also talking about other cars on the road. I'm talking about pedestrians. Safety for everyone. Um, if you've got 80,000 pounds moving at 60 miles an hour, it's a, it's a very dangerous thing. Every truck we sell will have enhanced autopilot as standard. Okay. <laughs> the, the truck will automatically break. <laughs> automatically. Break. Yeah, you can read it too. Um, auto, it'll automatically break, but uh, it will actually automatically lane keep as well. So even if even if uh, even if you're in the truck and you have a medical emergency the truck will stay in lane and gradually come to a halt and put on the emergencies. If it doesn't hear a response from you, it will actually call emergency services and get an ambulance. It, it's going to take care of you. It's going to take care of other cars. It's going to take care of pedestrians. This is a massive increase in safety. A few other things about safety. It's got, with that central position, you're in a very safe position. Uh, even if you were to collide with, with, with a, another semi, uh, you have a low center of gravity. That gives you really good handling. It means the probability of a rollover is massively reduced because the battery pack is in the floor pan, and, uh, and, and rollover risk is, is, is dramatically reduced. Um, and perhaps most importantly, um, jackknifing is, is uh, usually the worst nightmare of a, of a trucker. Uh, how do you stop your, your vehicle from, from jackknifing in, if you're in, in difficult conditions? The truck will automatically stop jackknifing because it's got independent motors on each wheel, and it'll, it'll dynamically adjust the torque on each wheel so that jack, jackknifing is impossible. <laughs> your worst nightmare is gone with this truck. Gone. You never have to worry about it. <laughs> so it's <a> miserable job. <laughs> um, reliability. Uh, <laughs> reliability is incredibly important. A, a truck is, is your life, it's your business. Truck breaks down, you're disappointing your customers. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a horrible day, it could be a horrible week. It could break down in the middle of nowhere, it's the safety issues. Uh, Reliability is incredibly important. We're putting massive attention into making this tr truck incredibly reliable. And that's why we are guaranteeing that this truck will not break down for a million miles. We are guaranteeing it won't break down for a million miles because it has four independent motors. You can lose two of those four motors and the truck will still keep going. In fact, even if you only have two of the four motors active, it'll still be a diesel truck. <laughs> it's not fair, really. Um, so then what, it has, you know, there's a few other benefits as well. Uh, brakes, brakes are a big deal for trucks. You gotta stop 80,000 pounds, it's not easy. That's a lot of brake, that's a lot of brake wear. But because the, with, with an electric motor, you can turn the brakes into generators. So every time you brake, that kinetic energy of braking goes right straight back into the battery pack instead of, he, instead of wearing down a brake pad. So the brake pads basically last forever. The, 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 you never need to replace brake pads ever, ever. So you, yeah, no brake, no brake pad changes ever. You don't have to worry about transmission. Uh, there's, there's no transmission, transmission can't break, there are no emissions, no scrubbers, no differentials, um, and, and this is the feature I like best, thermonuclear explosion proof glass. <laughs> close, I mean it's close. So standard glass, now, now why is this important? Because, uh, uh, you can see, look, nothing. Um, survived a nuclear explosion, that was incredible. So the, the, the Actually, what's important here is uh, by nuclear, survives a nuclear explosion or you get a full refund. Okay. Full refund. Um, 
the, the reason this is important is because uh, truck windshields are huge, and they crack about once a year. Um, and if the truck windshield is cracked, you're not allowed to drive. So it actually, it's truck off-road if you have a cracked, cracked windshield. And that, and that means lost revenue, disappointed customers, it's a terrible, it's a terrible day, and you, if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, it can take ages to get a, to get a new windshield. So actually, this, 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 detail, uh, this detail matters a lot uh, to, to someone who really is, is, understands trucking. Um, it's, it's, it's small, but very important. Then we have, in terms of connectivity to your truck, understanding what's going on, we have the Tesla app that gives you full information about your truck. This is a sort of normal, it's like we take it for granted uh, with, uh, if you've got a Model S or Model X or something like that, but this is not normal, actually, for trucks. You have full access to all your truck information. You've got remote diagnostics. You can, uh, you can see uh, what's going on. Preventative maintenance. The truck will actually anticipate when it needs, to be ma when it needs maintenance and, and inform you ahead of time. Um, and uh, it, it connects with uh, the fleet. So if, you've got, if you're trying to manage a fleet of thousands of trucks, this is also incredibly important. All this data is coming in. You know exactly what's going on. Uh, it's going to uh, really help you manage the trucking. Now, having said all this, you're probably wondering how much is this going to cost because Tesla stuff is expensive. Um, <laughs> but we realized that trucking, the economics of trucking matter tremendously. If, if, you have a if your cost per mile is too high, it, it doesn't make economic sense. You can't make it work. So we really thought about this a lot. And when you take everything into account, take the least cost, the insurance cost, maintenance, all of the factors, the, the fully accounted for true cost of trucking, a diesel truck will be 20% more expensive than a, than a Tesla Semi per mile. So. I want to be clear, this is from day one. So it, from day one, having a Tesla Semi will beat a diesel truck on economics, day one. And this is, at, this is a worst case scenario. So it gets better than this. This is, the, this, is the, this is the worst case scenario comparison. This is taking max vehicle gross. It's, it's going at 60 miles an hour. Um, and it's assuming $250 ga gasoline price. We're guaranteeing a seven cent kilowatt wholesale price. I want to be clear about that. This is real, these are real numbers. And it only gets better than this. This is a worst case scenario. Now, one truck, one, a Tesla truck considered by itself beats other diesel trucks. But what if you have a convoy? So what if you have two, uh, trucks, two trucks following? So you, you're, you're, you're more like a train, train driver. In fact, um, the, the convoy technology, the tracking technology, this is something that we are confident we can do today 10 times safer than a human driver. So this is, I want to be clear, this is something we can do now. And wait for that plane. There you go. Now if you look at the economics of a truck convoy, it gets way better. Now a diesel truck is twice as expensive as a Tesla Semi. This, so it's, what this means is it's, it's not just economic suicide to use one diesel truck. It's economic suicide for rail. This beats rail. So and that's, that's I think, really quite, quite profound. Um, we're confident that this is a product that is better in every way from a feature standpoint, that wins on economics against uh, uh, diesel trucks in a worst case scenario, and that defeats rail um, in a convoy scenario. And pr production begins 2019. So if you order now, get the car, the truck in two years. All right. So. All right, so that's the, the, Tesla, the Tesla Semi. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw.
All right, guys, take it away. Thank you, thanks. So it turns out there was some cargo in the truck. There's some cargo in the truck. Uh, we thought we'd bring it out. Um, we, we started Tesla. We started Tesla with a sports car, Tesla Roadster. <laughs> so that's that. That baby got us going. Uh, it's it's the it was the, the, the foundation of the whole company. It was the Tesla Roadster. People have asked us for a long time, when are you going to make? a new Roadster. We are making it now. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's, uh, I don't know if you've watched Spaceballs movie, but there's, there's, only thing, there's only one thing that's beyond ludicrous, which is plaid. So the, the Tesla, the, the new Tesla Roadster will be the fastest car, production car ever made, period. That will be. And um, this, is the ba this is the base model. Okay. This is the base model. We're going to talk about things beyond base maybe next year sometime. This is the base model. The base model will do 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. Okay. It'll, that, is, that is the fastest. This will be the first time that any car has broken two seconds at 0 to 60. It'll be, it'll be the fastest to 100 miles an hour. 4.2 seconds to 100 miles an hour. 
you faster, faster than that jet over there. Okay. Um, it'll do the quarter mile in 8.9 seconds. This will be the first time that any car has broken nine seconds. Any production car has broken nine seconds in a quarter mile. Okay. These are, these, are all, these are all world records. Okay, this is what we're achieving in the prototype. I wouldn't say what the actual top speed is, but it's above 250 miles an hour. The, the range, this is gonna have a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack. So 606, this is, these numbers sound nutty, but they're real. Um, 600, 620 mile range, that's a 1,000 kilometer range. This will be the first time an electric vehicle breaks 1,000 kilometers. A production electric vehicle will travel more than 1,000 kilometers in a single charge at highway speed. But you'll be able to travel from LA to San Francisco and back at highway speed without recharging. The, the, the point of doing this is to just give the hardcore smackdown to gasoline cars. Drive. Dr driving a gasoline sports car is going to feel like a steam engine with a side of quiche. <laughs> this thing will have three motors, so it's all-wheel drive, one motor in the front, two, in, two on the rear, we'll be able to do torque steering. As I said, 200 kilowatt hour, kilowatt hour battery pack, 10,000 newton meters of torque. If you know what that means, it's just stupid. <laughs> uh, um, it's also a four-seater. Yeah. So it's a two plus two, two plus two. Okay, you can't put giant people in the, in the rear seat. <laughs> but you will put, okay, a giant person squashed or a small, small person fit in the back. Um, so, but it's a four-seater. It's not like, it's, it's, this is four seats. Um, it's a convertible, so it's a uh, removable roof. Um, it's, uh, and it has uh, tons of storage. So you'll be able to like, actually travel somewhere, bring, bring luggage, bring whatever you want. Um, and have plenty of storage, carry four people. Like, it's a real car, it's not just crammed in. Um, so it has all that functionality with four seats. No. And available, expected this to be available in, in 2020. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, so would you like to come up, would you like to come up and, okay, come on up, come on. <laughs> <laughs>